transforming your mind through Christ. Have you ever wondered why some people seem to undergo dramatic transformations in their lives, while others remain stuck in their old ways? From the moment we open our eyes to the world, we're on a journey, a journey of growth, discovery, and change. We see it in the natural world around us, in the changing seasons, the blooming flowers, the butterfly emerging from its cocoon. It's a universal truth. Change is inevitable. Yet for some, this concept of change feels elusive, like a ship that's sailed. They believe that they are prisoners of their past, shackled by their mistakes, and held captive by their circumstances. But let me tell you, my friends, change is not a privilege reserved for the few. It's a possibility for everyone. In the heart of transformation lies a profound shift in mindset. It's a paradigm shift that requires us to break free from the confines of our old thinking patterns and embrace a new way of seeing ourselves and the world around us. Here we find wisdom in the words of Romans chapter 12 verse 2. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. This verse is not just a call to change, but a roadmap to change. It tells us that the key to personal growth lies not in the external, but in the internal. It's not about changing what we do, but about changing how we think. The change begins when we start renewing our minds, replacing old, limiting beliefs with new, empowering truths. And it's not a one-time event, but a continuous process, a journey that we embark on every day. So if you've ever felt stuck in your life, remember this. Change is possible. Change is possible. And it's not just possible, it's your birthright. The key to personal growth and change is not found in our own strength or wisdom. It's found in a power greater than ourselves. But what does it mean to renew our minds and how does it result in transformation? You see, change through Christ is not a vague, intangible concept. It's a real powerful process that can lead to radical changes in our lives. It all begins with renewing the mind, a process that calls us to adopt the mindset and values of Christ. Imagine a caterpillar cocooned in its chrysalis. It's not merely resting or waiting, it's transforming. A metamorphosis is taking place, a complete change of form, from a crawling caterpillar to a soaring butterfly. This is the picture of transformation through Christ. It's not about becoming a slightly better version of ourselves, it's about a total metamorphosis, a radical change. Renewing our minds involves consciously aligning our thoughts with God's thoughts, our values with Christ's values. It's about seeing ourselves, others, and the world through the lens of Christ's love, grace, and truth. It's about embracing the values of kindness, compassion, forgiveness, and selflessness that Christ embodied. This change doesn't happen quickly. It's a journey where we make a daily decision to focus our thoughts on God, to immerse ourselves in His Word, to seek His wisdom, to let His Spirit guide our decisions. It's a continual surrendering of our own self-focused ways of thinking and choosing instead to embrace God's perspective. And when we do this, incredible things happen. Our relationships improve as we learn to love more deeply and selflessly. We find peace and joy even in the midst of challenges because we're anchored in the unchanging love of God. We find purpose and meaning because we're living in alignment with God's plans and purposes for our lives. Transformation through Christ doesn't mean we become perfect. We're still human. We still make mistakes. But we're not defined by those mistakes. We're defined by God's grace, by His love, by His transforming work in us. When we allow Christ's teachings to shape our minds, we unlock the potential for profound change. And just like the butterfly, we're free to soar, to live lives of purpose, peace, and joy. That, my friends, is the power of transformation through Christ. You might be thinking, that sounds great, but how does it work in real life? Let's look at some real-life stories that show how people have changed their lives by learning from Christ's teachings. Consider the story of Sarah, a once troubled young woman who struggled with addiction. She felt lost, without purpose or direction. Then, she encountered the teachings of Christ. As she began to immerse herself in His words, she found a new way of thinking, a new perspective. Her mind was renewed and she was able to break free from the chains of her addiction. Today, Sarah is a beacon of hope for others struggling with similar issues, using her experiences to guide and inspire. Then there's the story of John, 
a successful businessman who'd achieved all the material success one could wish for, yet he felt empty inside. He discovered Christ's teachings and started to renew his mind. He began to view success not just in terms of wealth and status, but in love, service and compassion. This change in his thinking made him use what he had to help others, which made him feel happy and fulfilled in a way he had never felt before. And let's not forget about Emily. She was consumed by fear and anxiety, unable to enjoy life. After encountering Christ's teachings, she began to renew her mind, replacing fear with faith, anxiety with peace. Now she lives confidently, unafraid of the future, and able to fully appreciate the present. These stories are not mere anecdotes. They are real-life examples of people who have experienced significant changes by learning from Christ's teachings and changing their way of thinking. Sarah, John, and Emily are just like you and me. They faced challenges. They struggled. But through the renewal of their minds, they were able to overcome, to transform. These are not isolated incidents. They are examples of what's possible when we allow our minds and hearts to be shaped by Christ's teachings. Changing and growing doesn't just happen in one moment. It's a continuous journey that takes time and effort. Imagine a piece of coal. Over time, under the right conditions and pressure, it transforms into a diamond. This metamorphosis doesn't happen overnight, but rather, it's a process that takes millions of years. Similarly, our transformation journey, especially the one guided by Christ, is not a single event, but a continuous journey that requires consistent effort. Just like that piece of coal, we too are raw and unrefined. We have our flaws, our inconsistencies, our imperfections. But the beauty of this journey is that we are not alone. Christ is with us every step of the way, guiding us, shaping us, refining us. He doesn't expect us to be perfect. He simply asks that we keep trying, keep pushing, keep evolving. It's crucial to understand that this journey is not about reaching a destination. Rather, it's about becoming, becoming more like Christ, aligning our thoughts with His and renewing our minds daily. This transformation is not a passive process. It's active. It's intentional. It's about consciously choosing every single day to let go of old patterns and embrace new ones. It's about letting the Word of God renew your mind, change your thinking, and ultimately transform your life. So, how do we do this? How do we renew our minds daily? It starts with immersing ourselves in the Word of God, meditating on it, and letting it shape our thoughts, our actions, our lives. It's about replacing the lies we've believed with the truth of God's Word. It's about choosing to see ourselves, our circumstances, and the world around us through the lens of God's love and grace. The journey of change is not easy. There will be challenges. There will be setbacks. But remember, every challenge is an opportunity for growth every setback a chance for a comeback. And with Christ by our side, we can face anything that comes our way. Every day presents a new opportunity to grow, to change, and to be changed. So, where does that leave you? You've heard about it, the transformative power of Christ. You've seen real-life examples of people whose lives have been changed, and you've been given a glimpse into what your own transformation journey could look like. Now the question is, what's stopping you? Imagine waking up each day feeling empowered, knowing that you're not alone, that you're guided by a divine force that wants nothing but the best for you. It's not just a dream. It's a reality that's within your grasp, a transformation that's waiting to happen. But it requires action. It requires you to take that first step, to make that decision. And it's not a one-time thing. It's a daily commitment, a commitment to prayer, to reading the Bible, to surrounding yourself with positive influences. Let's break it down. First, make prayer a part of your daily routine. Just like you wouldn't skip brushing your teeth or having breakfast, don't skip prayer. It's your direct line to God, your chance to express your thoughts, your worries, your gratitude. Next, immerse yourself in the Word. The Bible isn't just a book, it's a manual for life, filled with wisdom, guidance, and answers to your questions. Make it a habit to read a chapter or a verse each day. Lastly, surround yourself with positive influences. You are the company you keep. Seek out those who uplift you, who inspire you, who lead you closer to Christ. Remember, change is a process that takes time and effort. It starts with one small step, your step. 
So, don't wait for the perfect moment. Don't wait for tomorrow. Start today. Begin your transformation journey and watch as you become the person you were always meant to be. I hope you found this video helpful and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.